A local nonprofit is trying to curb gun violence by gathering people together with a Friendsgiving meal. Our Logan Gaish airs how the holiday theme is turning strangers into allies for peace. I'm here at 1313 Eatery where neighbors have gathered for a Friendsgiving meal. As you can see, it's a packed event and they have all the turkey and the trimmings. But organizers say this event is about more than ham and dressing. Thanksgiving is days away, but organizers with Ceasefire Indy started the festivities early on the northeast side for two reasons, peace and unity. One of our biggest models with Ceasefire Indy is that there's no such thing as strangers, we're all family. So when you're looking at that, I think it'll be hard for um, you to try to shoot your brother, your sister, your uncle. As of this month, Indianapolis for the third year in a row has seen more than 200 homicides. Joseph Reese Jr.'s family has been impacted by the gun violence. He believes Indy needs more events like this to reach the community. And I think this is another activity to keep hope alive. So again, we're moving in the right direction now. We still have a long way to go because, you know, a lot of people, especially our young people, more so than ever before, need to have a voice to be heard. There's no one solution to decreasing the violence in and around Indianapolis. But Lisa Miller says it starts at home. And it takes us to help bring the village back because we lost track of that somewhere. Ceasefire Indy says they try not to focus only on the numbers, but also on the opportunities to do better. But yeah, we all have a part. It's just not one person, one organization, one business. We all have a part. So everybody should get active and figure out what it is they can do to help our community. And Reese says that's exactly what this is. It's good to know that we're learning to work together. And I think this is a positive thing in, you know, for us to move in the right direction. A direction that will hopefully lead to more peaceful outcomes. In Indianapolis, Logan Gay, 13 News.